We are deep into our series on a diet that attempts to copy the benefits of fasting without fasting. And by implementing this diet for just a few days a month could provide powerful health benefits. If you aren't caught up, you're missing a lot, including details on the diet. So I'd of course recommend that you go back to the first video of this series, but let's assume you're caught up. I promised that we'd look at the effects this fasting mimicking diet has on lifespan how long we live, can it extend our lives? Also, can it protect us from highly age-related diseases like cancer? Well, finally, I also mentioned the data wasn't quite as good as some of our previous discoveries. So, are you ready to make sense of it all? Let's start with lifespan. Can the fasting mimicking diet, FMD for short, extend life? Surely, in the future, there will be studies investigating these results in humans, but for the time being, we have to extrapolate from animal studies. But I've mentioned before, we'll still be looking at some human data to substantiate some of these results that we're covering. So, we have our animals separated into two groups, control wherein these animals consume their usual diet, and the comparison diet, the fasting mimicking diet. Here, we're looking at data indicating the length of life on both diets. The white dots are the individual animals on the control diet, and the red squares are the individual animals on the fasting mimicking diet. On the vertical axis, we see the percentage of animals still alive, and the horizontal axis shows the time that's passed. As you can see, the control group begins to experience significant deaths around the 22-month mark and then really go downhill around the 24 month or two year mark. Meanwhile, the FMD group experience one death at the early time point, but the rest of the group don't begin dying until well past the time that the control group has already lost six or seven mice. But let me give you some more concrete numbers. The fasting mimicking diet increases the average age by 11%, as well as increased the age of the oldest 25% of animals by over 7%. Yet here's where the good news ends. The absolute maximum age achieved was not different between the two groups. So this means that the fasting mimicking diet may increase the average age and make the 25% oldest individuals live longer, but it does not benefit the oldest that would reach the maximum life expectancy regardless. But the manner by which we die is also a concern to us. At least it is for me and I imagine for you. So how does FMD fare against cancer? Well, those in the FMD group experience significant reductions in neoplasms, which are abnormal growths. Although not necessarily cancerous, they can be. Then looking at one particular type of cancer, lymphoma, FMD reduces lymphoma occurrence. So beyond that, it also reduces the number of neoplasms, keeping them contained to either none, up to three or four, while the control group experienced far more per animal, sometimes as many as five or more. But we're looking at these values in isolation. What about over time, over the lifespan? Looking at the number of incidents, meaning deaths associated with neoplasms, the higher the value, the more incidents, the red line is the FMD group and the black is, well, by default, the control. What do we see? We see that the control group experienced significant death associated with these abnormal growths, neoplasms, before the FMD group experienced their first. And when all was said and done, the FMD group had fewer such deaths. This all means that the fasting mimicking diet reduces the rates of abnormal growth, like certain cancers, likely offering a protective effect against problems arising from these growths. Remarkable, isn't it? You've been patient enough. We've gone over so much data across many videos, from liver, brain, heart health, to cognition, to lifespan, and more. But this has all been in animals. And while there is often translation to humans, it isn't always the case. So, does it now? In the next video, we're going to see how the fasting mimicking diet affects humans. Let's do this.